In this video, I share with you a simple recipe that helped to brighten my skin in seven days. This is the recipe. I'll share the recipe at the end of the video. I'm just going to show you daily what my experiences were with this mask. It did work amazingly as you saw at the begin beginning of the video. So basically, before my shower, I go ahead and apply this mask, leave it on my face, allow it to dry completely before washing it off and I did that for seven consecutive days so once it's dry your face kind of looks cracked it feels very dry you can't really move your face almost like you have a mud mask on and as you can see this little scaly things look really dark so it's almost like it's absorbing some of the dark pigment from your face or it's removing all the sun tan I don't know what it does but it really does brighten your face so this is me after the first day this is the second day and this is what my skin is looking like before I go ahead and apply the mask. So here's my mask again, so I'm just going to apply it all over my face, let it dry again, wash it off and show you what my skin looks like. Again, this is what my skin is looking like after day two and then we're going to move on to day three. Guys, at this point I was just fixing my nose piercing, okay? I wasn't being disgusting. Anyone with a nose ring can relate, okay? <laughs> Okay guys, so by day four, I started to notice that I was breaking up a little bit. I'm not sure if it was because of the mask that I was using or it was because the time of the month was just around the corner, but I was breaking out a little bit. It's very unusual for my skin. So I switched up the mask a little bit. This is a similar mixture, but I switched up the liquid part of it. So um, yeah, to see how that worked. And this worked brilliantly. It cleared my face like all the breakouts disappeared after like the first day or so so yeah um, I'm glad I changed it up I'll show you the recipe for this one as well and I feel like there was no significant change in my skin until like day five maybe and here like I dried it but I try to eat and that's why my skin is like that's why the mask is like peeling around my lips so yeah this is what my face looks like after day four Let's move on to day five. See, day five, my skin looks a lot brighter than it did, like, you know, on the first day. And it's quite significant, the change. And I was storing this mask in the fridge as well, so it was so nice when you, I applied it to my skin because it really had that cooling sensation. So, yeah, I basically did the same thing. Applied it all over my face, allowed it to dry, and then I uh, washed it off. Guys, I think this is a really good mask to do if you're about to attend an event or something and you have a couple of days to it and you just want to make your skin look really good before it. Definitely worth a try. Guys, this is the last day that I tried it. Day 6. Look at my skin. It looks significantly better. It looks so much brighter. I don't have many breakouts and it just looks firmer. I don't know if you can notice but I can definitely see a change. And um, What I loved about this mask was every time that I washed my face, it would really exfoliate my skin very gently though but 
you could tell that your skin felt softer and it definitely looked brighter so this was my final results guys let me know what you think can you see a significant change in my skin i think this worked amazingly and i think it would work really well if you have like a special occasion coming up and you just want to prepare your skin for it it'll be good to do this like six day seven day challenge until your event anyways let's get right into the recipe go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe and yeah so all you would need is some rice flour yes rice has been found to be amazing for the skin apparently it's used in a lot of Korean skincare I don't use Korean skincare but that's what I've read and you know they tend to have really good skin so that makes a lot of sense so I'm just gonna add some rice powder which is basically rice flour you can find it in any food health uh, any health food store or any grocery store and to one bowl I've added some um, just full cream milk powder you can use like liquid milk if you please as well and in the other bowl I've used yogurt just uh, regular Greek yogurt so I used the Greek yogurt mixture for three days and that's when I started to break out and that's when I switched to the milk and rice flour mixture. Um, I found that they both kind of felt the same but then the milk one dried a lot quicker because I guess it wasn't as thick and um, it didn't break me out either so that was the difference but otherwise I feel like they both work well to lighten the skin and maybe the milk one gave me a significant difference over a shorter period of time as well so yeah I basically used approximately a teaspoon of rice flour two two, te two teaspoons of yogurt and then the same for the milk so two teaspoons of milk to one table one teaspoon of rice flour I hope that makes sense and yeah this is what it looked like at the end um, it was kind of in between liquidy and thick making it very easy to apply thank you so much for watching guys if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe so show some love show some support give this video a thumbs up don't forget to follow me on instagram at lasha skin and hair i'll be doing a lot of giveaways right before the christmas so do follow me and stay tuned over there you can further support me by subscribing to my mailing list on my website at www.lashaskinandhair.com just down the bottom of the page or you can shop on my website as well thank you once again for watching i'll see you in my next one bye